Hello, uh, I would like to uh, show you some real example how the chat ops is working uh, together with uh, Kubernetes and uh, GitHub. So let's uh, look at the Kubernetes official repository which is hosted by GitHub and if I will go to the PRs, pull requests, uh, you can see for example if I open one of them you can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, comments from the developers and between these comments you can see the commands like this one like assign something here are commands for tests and milestone and all these commands are actually the chat ops if you can see what's uh, in this picture it means that uh, here are some developers who are writing the commands to uh, Slack, Telegram or IRC or anything like that and then uh, these commands are uh, handled by the bots which are actually doing the, the commands or performing some tasks like uh, building infrastructure, do the testing, etc. So it's ex exactly the, the same like here in uh, in the Kubernetes world. Uh, Kubernetes and many CNCF projects they are using a tool which is called Pro uh, which I'm going to show you as well. Uh, this is uh, software which is tightly integrated to GitHub and uh, it takes care about executing the commands which you are writing to the PR chats. The commands which I mentioned before all of them are described uh, in this URL so you can uh, read them and uh, if you will install your own chat ops uh, using Pro uh, you can just use some of them because uh, yeah, it, uh, it, there's a lot of them. Anyway, uh, let's uh, see some example how it works. Uh, I will use my uh, lab user uh, to create a PR in the repository. So let's go to the Magma repository where is the source code, source code of the uh, applications and I will just uh, do a quick pull request by changing the readme file see what happens. Uh, here you can see that uh, this is a Slack message which was uh, there. It means that uh, automatically when you created the PR the pro start testing and building the, the code and it will create uh, the container images when it will if it will succeed. Let's go through this diagram. Mm, here I was the developer, it was my lab user which created the pull request in GitHub and GitHub uh, was talking to Pro using the webhooks. Let me show you the webhooks which I have to configure to make this working. So this is the, the webhook which I'm talking about. It's going to the pro instance of my Kubernetes cluster. And pro actually just uh, create a pipeline run uh, which is a CRD definition of the Tecton project. Uh, Tecton project doesn't uh, 
rely on Pro, but it's used by many projects like uh, Jenkins X, OpenShift, and uh, probably a few more. So uh, Pro creates the pipeline run, and then uh, the whole pipeline was executed like it is described here. I'm not going to go into the details because uh, it's uh, more related to the Pro configuration than the Pro itself. Uh, when the pipeline will be finished, uh, the Tekton will send the message back to the Pro and Pro will notify GitHub. And in that case, I will see that uh, this is uh, this was completed. Uh, as I mentioned before, the pipeline is running right now. So let's uh, get uh, to some details about the pipeline itself. So this is a Tekton dashboard where you can see all the pipelines, uh, the pipelines which are running or their states and uh, the task because every pipeline uh, contains few tasks, task contains steps. Uh, it's uh, exactly like it's written here, but uh, yeah, it's more about the Tekton, which I don't want to cover right now. Uh, so open the pipeline you can see uh, one task was already finished successfully it's green and three more are still running there is some status details logs very important stuff for the developers um, the uh, Pro contains a uh, few plugins uh, through which you can test uh, if the Pro is working properly. Uh, for example, uh, one of them is Meow. So if I just uh, put this command into the command, uh, the Pro should uh, show me the random uh, cat picture, which proves that the uh, Pro is working properly. I can also uh, assign uh, this PR to somebody, so in this case I'm going to assign it uh, to my lab user. You can see it's assigned to the, us to the lab user. The same situation will be if I unassign it. Also, you can see that uh, the Pro talks to Kubernetes uh, via the CNA boot. And here, for example, it adds the size label. So that's a size of my change. So it was really small. That's why it's, uh, why it's uh, marked as XS, extra small. Here in this dashboard you can see that uh, I was using web interface to show you the details about the uh, pipelines, uh, but I can also use uh, uh, Tekton command line client, which is called TKN, and I can basically see all the pipelines or details about the pipelines in the command line, so let's check it out. So this is my pipeline which is currently running. If I want to see some details. So this is uh, these are the variables parameters and uh, some other necessary components for creating the full pipeline. The important part in my case is uh, here are the, uh, the task runs which are currently running so 
as in the web interface you can see uh, one of them was finished uh, let's uh, list them as well so you can I can get the details as well In the command line, I can also use the logs. Which uh, will show me all the logs which are produced by the pipeline. Very handy. And from the, uh, from the diagram, you can see that um, pipelines are uh, basically creating the pots and the containers inside these pots are running the uh, the code or they are basically processing the code or building the code uh, so if I will list the pots you can see and here are the pots uh, again you can use the standard uh, Kubernetes commands to get into the pods or uh, check the logs inside the pods, etc. It's uh, also the same for the uh, pipeline uh, runs, for example. So you can list them using kubectl as well. Or or like this one. So I will probably go back to the GitHub and I forgot to mention that uh, my pipeline is going to create the, the container images of the Magma application uh, as you can see, this repository is uh, now empty. Oh, it's not empty because one of the uh, task runs already finished. So uh, this was uh, generated by by the pipeline. And there will be much more container images when the pipeline will be finished. So let's vo wait for it. I will keep this uh, running and uh, speed up the video a little bit. So, as you can see, uh, the pipeline finished a few seconds ago. All the tasks are green, so seems to be working fine. Here in the uh, GitHub, you can see that uh, the task test tasks were also marked as green. So uh, now uh, I should be able to automatically merge this pull request because all the tests passed. Um, I can't uh, do it like uh, from the uh, user account. This is uh, not allowed. So I will switch to another user. And here I can run lgtm command. So CNN, CNA boot, which is associated with this PR, uh, with this repository, automatically creates uh, the proper label. Let me refresh it. It should appear on the left side as well. Here 
Yeah, here it is. And uh, the pro contains Tide, which is a microservice which takes care about merging the PRs. So uh, once uh, the Tide will find out that it's ready, like it happened just now, uh, it automatically merged the PR into the master. And I can, of course, uh, delete my branch because it was already merged. So that's basically the workflow. And here you can see that uh, I should see in Azure the new containers. Yeah, they are they were built by the pipeline. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all. Uh, one more thing I wanna mention as well is that uh, if you have Grafana installed uh, you can use uh, predefined uh, dashboards which are part of the pro let me go through them so here you can see that uh, there was uh, some PR it was just one because that's what I did before. Let's do it in past hour. Uh, here are the and the, another pro component con called Sinker, which uh, take cares about uh, cleaning up the old jobs. So there are some graphs as well. And uh, a hook. It's a microservice the pro which takes care about incoming webhook from the github yeah this is uh, the standard uh, prometheus node exporter you can see that in past hour my cluster was pretty busy with uh, building the the container images so Anyway, that's uh, all I wanna wanna mention. So, just uh, keep in mind what uh, ChatOps is, how it can help you, especially when you will deal with some open source repositories located in GitHub. You can see it um, because it's uh, really handy for the developers, which can easily run the tests. So if I for example, let me try if it will work. Reopen. Oh, probably no, it's merged. So it can be changed. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, but um, anyway, running something like a run test or retest, you can initiate the testing procedure by from from the developer point of view you don't need to wait for uh, some automatic triggering so that's uh, basically the most important part why the chat ops is used because you can initiate the tests of your code or you can let your code to be deployed into some environment or anything what, what you are able to program by just uh, running some command like that one. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much for your time. And goodbye.